Oh, hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tega and I'm really glad to see you today. I'm really glad you're here. Ah, my fingers are stuck in this thing. I saw this sitting on the table with a note that said, insert fingers here. So I kind of did. And now I can't uninsert them. My brother is the king of practical jokes. I should have known. Now I have to wait until he gets back from his hike to tell me how to get out of this crazy thing. <sighs> Waiting takes patience and showing patience without complaining. <sighs> It's not always easy. So I'm really glad you're here. Hanging out with you gives me something fun to do while I'm patiently waiting. Speaking of fun, let's play a game. Show of hands, who's with me? Oh, it's fine. Let's do this. Hey everyone, I'm Jana and I am back to show you how to juggle. Are you ready? Have you been practicing? Can you do step one and toss one sock ball from one hand to the other with your eyes closed? Can you do it? Now tell me, how has your patience been this week? Has it been tough? It's okay if it has been because learning a new skill is really hard. That's where patience comes in. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have to stop and take a deep breath when I get frustrated. I have to calm myself and breathe. Because when I'm calm, then I can focus and I'm patient enough to try again and again and again. And before you know it, I can nail it. And you will too. Okay, are you ready for step two? I think you are. All right, this time you're gonna need two sock balls. Find a good place to sit, bend at the elbows, put one sock in each hand, and hold your arms really close to your body. Now this time, just like at the beginning, we are gonna toss one sock ball through the air to land in the other hand. But this time, when you toss the sock ball, and it gets right to the middle, right at eye level, that is when you are gonna toss the other sock ball in the air, and they are gonna cross and land in opposite hands. All right, it sounds more complicated than it is, but it is gonna take practice, and it is gonna take some patience, all right? This is what it looks like. You toss, 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 toss. Now, when you're right-handed, you start with your right hand and you toss that one first. Whoop. Toss, toss. If you're left-handed, you toss with your left hand first. I'm not left-handed, so that was a little tricky. So there we go. All right, now, that skill you are gonna practice all week long. Toss, toss. And when you get that one, try the other way. Toss, toss. Keep practicing you get it over and over and over. Now, don't get frustrated if you don't get it right away. This is a hard one. It's gonna take practice. It's gonna take some patience, but I believe in you. By the end of the week, you'll be ready for step number three. And I will meet you right back here and tell you what's next. All right, keep practicing. Toss, toss, toss. Toss. Do you think we can do this one with our eyes closed? Toss. Toss. No. No. Again. I'll see you next week. Ben. Ben, are you there? You called me, remember? I'm here. You scared me. Sorry, Maya, but I'm in crisis mode. Well, so am I. Vinny, get out of the bathroom. I need to brush my teeth. Maya. Look around. Do you see sprinkles anywhere? Your bearded dragon? Yes, he got out of his cage. How? One guess. Jackson. Jackson. He was in your room again? 
Yes, he's always touching my stuff. Last week, he spilled syrup all over my Pokemon cards. Vinny, come on. And today, he was messing with Sprinkles, and then Sprinkles got loose, and now he's lost. I have to find him. I have to brush my teeth. Brothers. Yeah, brothers. Man, Maya, Ben, I feel you. Patience is so tough. I mean, waiting for something you want by itself is hard, but patience, waiting without complaining, well, that's next level hard. Actually, I heard from my brother. He says, don't pull, push. Don't pull, push. Oh, that is so much better. My fingers are free. You know, God has something to say about waiting. And to show you guys what that is, I've got two of my friends, Ben and Maya, who are gonna help me out today. What's up, Ben? Thanks for helping out. Yeah. Whoa. Are we ready to get this thing started? How long is this gonna take? Oh, I'm sorry. I know your time is valuable. I've got Maya right here. Hey, Tega. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Great, thanks for helping me out today. You know, this month is all about patience. Patience is waiting without complaining. Yeah, yeah, can we just get this thing started? I believe you said you had some questions for us that we still needed to answer. Hey, Ben, would you mind hitting pause on your game? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, let's just hurry this up, okay? I really wanna get back to defending my kingdom. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys are ready, I have a few different scenarios here and I want you, Ben and Maya, to tell us how you would respond to each situation. For you guys at home, take a listen to their responses and I want you to tell me, or someone else in the room, how you would most likely to respond if you were in that situation. Now, you're gonna have to be honest, and I mean honest, honest. Would you be able to wait without complaining or would you lose your mind and your patience? We'll see. Here we go. All right, so our first scenario. Let's say your parents need to run some errands before your family can head to dinner. You're super duper hungry and you're ready to eat. What should you do? Maya, why don't you answer first? Well, to be honest, I really don't like going to run errands. There's always just one more stop at the grocery store or at the bank. But I guess to help time go faster, I would play I Spy or Rock, Paper, Scissors with my brother. Hmm, great idea, Maya. What do you think, Ben? Well, hello, I'm always hungry, and that hungry can turn to hangry real fast. Obviously, I would say, Mom, I need food. I want pizza first. Hmm, okay, now it's your turn. Would you find other ways to pass the time and make the waiting more fun? Or would you and your hangry self wig out on your mom? Be honest, tell someone in the room what you would do. Let's try for another scenario. This time, let's say you're on the playground at recess. You're in line to get on the monkey bars, but there's one kid who's taking forever to get across and recess is almost over. What do you do? That's easy. I tell him to hurry up because there's other people waiting. Gotta keep things moving, you know? Hmm, well, that's one way to approach it. All right, Maya, what would you do? I would just find something else to do until the monkey bars are open. No big deal. Hmm, all right. For you guys at home, you already know the drill. What do you think you'd do while waiting for someone who's taking forever on the monkey bars? Remember, I want to know what you would really do. Would you be frustrated and rush him along like Ben? Or would you do something else and wait patiently for a turn like Maya? Okay, here is our last scenario. Let's say your friend has agreed to help you out with something, but when the time came for them to help, they were in the middle of achieving their high score on their favorite video game. Oh man, there is nothing worse than having to wait on someone while they are totally absorbed in a video game. I have to do that with my friends all the time. All you have to do is block the screen, game, over. Um, I might calmly ask if they could hit pause on their game while they are defending their kingdom. Oh wait, 
You're talking about me? <laughs> it's all good, Ben. I don't mind waiting. So have you ever had to wait on a gamer? How did you handle it? Would you sabotage them so that their turn would be over? Or would you be patient and wait for them to pause or finish their game? So, how'd you do? Looks like we all could use a little practice. Maya and Ben, you've given us so much to think about. Thanks guys for all of your help. No matter how you answered, one thing is for sure. Patience, waiting without complaining is not easy, but it is important. So important that Paul, one of Jesus' followers, wrote a letter about patience. And Paul, well, let's just say he had lots of opportunities to practice being patient. You see, when Paul wrote about patience, he was on house arrest. He couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't do the things that he wanted to do. Paul had guards all around him day and night. Guards who were probably pretty tough and scary, and I'm guessing they probably weren't very nice. Talk about needing patience. I might have complained a little bit about all of that, but not Paul. It's all right here in the Bible, in Ephesians 4, 2. Paul writes, Do not be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient, putting up with one another in love. So Paul says, don't be proud, which means don't think of yourself as better than anyone else. He tells us to be completely gentle, which just means to be kind to those around you, even those who are hard to be nice to. He reminds us to be patient, to wait without complaining. And finally, Paul says to put up with one another in love, to accept others as they are, flaws and all, even when those flaws annoy you. You see, when we show patience by waiting without complaining, we show others that we care. It's kind of like we're saying, I care about whatever is going on with you. You are worth waiting for. And isn't that exactly what we all want to hear when it's taking us a little bit longer to do something and we're the ones making other people wait? It's like if you've got to stop and tie your shoe, but everyone keeps walking. Everyone, except your best friend. They stop and patiently wait for you because they care about you and they know you would do the same for them. Patience, it's not easy, but when you wait, without complaining, when you are patient, you show others that you care. Now let's pray and ask God to help us show our friends and family we care by helping us be more patient. Dear God, thank you for helping us learn about patience. Help us to be more patient for their friends and our families and those around us. We love you, amen. Be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4 2. Do not be proud. Don't be proud at all. Do not be proud. Don't be proud at all. proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Well, what did you think, Maya? I think you need more patience. And so do I. I just think I'd be a more patient person if it wasn't for other people. <laughs> Me too. And I really like the idea of that verse. It's like putting up with each other in love because I do love my brother. Shh, he'll hear you, but I love mine too. So I'm not gonna complain when Vinny takes a long time to get ready in the mornings. 
and I'll try to loosen up with Jackson and let him in my room more. Really? I said I'd try. <laughs> so what are you guys gonna do this week? Yeah, who have you been impatient with recently? Pick one person and show them that you care. Ah! What? I found sprinkles! <laughs>